10 photos of mysterious cryptids. Welcome to Crypto Fun Friday. Number 10, Thetis Lake Monster. This cryptid was sighted twice on Vancouver Island in Canada in 1972. Standing about five feet tall, it supposedly resembled a human lizard hybrid with a large head covered in barbed spikes and webbed toes and fingers. Seems like a pretty good match for the Gill Man from the Creature of the Black Lagoon flick. There were originally four eyewitnesses who claimed the monster chased them from the beach, but two of them later admitted it was all a hoax. The other two, apparently, kept the silence on the matter. What do you think? Number 9. Kasai Rex. This is said to be a surviving dinosaur cryptid not unlike Tyrannosaurus Rex, but it's been described as a huge monitor lizard as well as a terrestrial crocodile. Well, back in 1932, a plantation owner named John Johnson was traveling through Africa's Kasai Valley, where he claimed to see a huge dinosaur-like creature eating a rhino. Johnson claimed the creature had thick legs and estimated its length at 43 feet. Two alleged photos of the Kasai Rex have circulated over the years. One shows the beast supposedly chowing down on a rhino, but that was actually a doctored image from the 1969 movie The Valley of Guanji. The other photo, claiming to be the Kasai Rex, was actually cut from a nature magazine. It depicted a lizard that supposedly measured 12 meters, or over 39 feet. Any known images of this creature have been proven to be hoaxes, so the very existence of Kasai Rex is highly disputed to say the least. Number eight, the Cardiff Giant. Well, here's a spoiler up front, just because you may have heard of this one. The Cardiff Giant was one of the greatest hoaxes in US history. In 1869, workers digging a well behind a barn in Cardiff, New York, found what appeared to be a 10-foot tall petrified man. It became a huge story, no pun intended, and exhibitions featuring the giant played to sold out venues. But it all turned out to be the pipe dream of a New York cigar manufacturer named George Hull. He contracted workers to create the giant from gypsum, then used stains and acid to make the giant appear aged and weathered. Finally, Hull arranged for his creation to be buried behind the barn where it could be discovered, quote unquote, by workers there. The effort never really fooled experts, but Hull still made a small fortune before finally admitting the fraud in 1870. Number 7. Ninjin. Crew members of Japanese whale research ships in the Antarctic have reported seeing creatures completely white in color and measuring up to 30 meters long. That's over 98 feet. They're so big that crew members thought they had initially spotted a foreign submarine. Ninjin means human in Japanese, and these creatures are said to have a humanoid shape and swim through the icy Antarctic waters. Some eyewitnesses describe them as having arms, legs, and hands with five fingers, as well as facial features like eyes and a mouth. Some accounts claim they have fins or mermaid-like tails instead of legs. There's been no solid proof of the creature's existence, and since they seem to only appear at night, they're difficult to photograph. Pictures that do exist tend to be highly suspect at best, but Antarctic waters have not been fully explored. Maybe it could be some sort of as yet undiscovered marine species. Number six, Hodag. This animal was known as quite a fearsome critter and is said to have been discovered in the city of Rhinelander in Wisconsin back in 1893. It supposedly had a mashup of features including a frog's head, the face of a giant elephant, huge claws, and a long tail with spears at the end. Wow. Well, the monster proved so tough that when a group of people showed up to capture it, they had to use dynamite and ended up killing it. A picture was released in newspaper showing the group standing about the charred remains of the animal. Well, guess what? It was a hoax, as so many of these things turn out to be. But you can see a hodag at the Rhinelander Area Chamber of Commerce, though it's actually a sculpture created by a local artist. Number five. Air rods. Sounds like kind of a nickname for a baseball player, but air rods are sometimes called flying rods or skyfish. To believers, air rods are a form of living creature that exists in the very atmosphere and are picked up by cameras all over the world. It's argued that the rod-shaped objects might be anything from some sort of undiscovered insect species to alien life forms or even teeny tiny UFOs. Skeptics don't deny that these rods do exist as they show up on film and in video 
video, but the naysayers are supported in their argument by various experiments that have shown air rods are just artifacts that appear in film due to an optical and video collusion, resulting in a rod-like effect that usually turns out to be caused by the wing beats of a flying insect. Number 4. The Devil Bird This cryptid is also known as Ulama in Sri Lanka and is claimed to produce human-like blood-curdling screams at night in the jungle. The bird's cry is said to be an omen that portends death according to Sri Lankan folklore. The exact identity of the bird has been one of the great mysteries in Ceylonese jungles as it usually goes unseen. But the bird's identity may be close to being revealed as several real-life potential candidates have been found to closely match the cryptid's description. In 2001, the spot-bellied eagle owl was found to closely match the Ulama's description, even possessing an approximation of the devil bird's characteristic screech and tufted horns. The owl's discovery was thought to solve the mystery, but many people still think this isn't the exact creature of legend. The changeable hawk eagle and the crested honey buzzard are the other contenders for the title of the devil bird. Number three. Fiji mermaids. Every so often there seems to be certain pictures that circulate online. You might receive them in your emails. These often involve cryptids to some degree, and these pictures claim to show the remains of a mermaid. This one was supposedly discovered washed ashore at a marina beach in Chennai in India around 2005. The creature was said to have been a result associated with the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami. But these same photos have circulated for years since, showing up most recently in 2016. It's actually a form of Fiji mermaid or phony mermaid, creations made out of monkey skulls, fish bones, and other animals, which were a common sight in 19th century carnivals and circuses, and did become something of an art form. Number two, Mongolian death worm. It's been reported in the folklore of nomads in the Gobi Desert and said to be up to seven feet long and capable of spitting out corrosive yellow saliva and generating blasts of electricity. The blood red monster is said to inflate itself and then explode with a poison so lethal it instantly kills its enemies. Several investigations into the worm's existence have been conducted, one of them led by Ivan Makali, a leading Loch Ness monster detective, and after interviewing many Mongolian people regarding the worm, he concluded the death worm was more than a legend. Well, that settles it, right? Well, not quite. A 2005 expedition tracked the death worm for a thousand miles across the Gobi, and their conclusion? The beast could possibly be some species of large, unknown worm, but its powers were likely fictional. Number one. Well, to tell the truth, we haven't found a lot of information about this image. We think the photo may have been taken in Africa just because we found a brief reference alluding to the possible location. It appears to be an old photograph of a man displaying some sort of large winged creature. Since the picture seems to pop up under dinosaur searches, maybe it's supposed to depict some sort of pterosaur or flying dinosaur. Those animals are said to have had wingspans ranging from 10 inches at the smallest to nearly 36 feet at the largest. The animal in the picture seems to have a wingspan that would fall within those parameters. Think someone did find a pterosaur, or is it yet another fraud? 